How are we doing there, boys and girls? Matthew's here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about the Dark Moon market because it's causing chaos. It's quite clearly causing chaos. Now, I know we're only three days into the expansion, um, but historically, those first three days of an expansion have always been what is often considered like Dark Moon season, right? It's the days where if you go ham and you craft a bunch of Dark Moon cards, you can sell a bunch of Dark Moon cards to those who want those big, powerful trinkets at the start of an expansion. And it's usually a really good way to make gold. So why is it causing chaos then? Well, it's causing chaos for the simple reason that Dark Moon crafting and the Dark Moon card system has changed quite a lot in Dragonflight. And unfortunately, I think it's caught a few people off guard. Um, I wanted to just showcase a, a little thread that popped up in the WoW Economy subreddit. Um, and it made me giggle because it just clarified to me just how many people have, have, have fallen into this pit by the looks of things. Um, somebody posted really simply, just spent 500k on the Dark Moon decks and got no aces. Don't do it. What was surprising was how many people then followed in with saying, yeah, I've done exactly the same. Uh, I've spent 1.5 million on cards, nothing. S you know, spent 2 million on packs, nothing. Um, so I wanted to talk about this today. I wanted to talk about what the problem is. But more importantly than anything else, I wanted to share some data that I was able to put together on the beta um, that is going to help a lot of people hopefully get to the point where they can start making some gold with the Dark Moon cards because there is still a market for them. Um, they may not be the best in slot trinkets, but they're still really good. 372 item level when you ding level 70 is about 50, 60 item levels higher than anything that you'll have equipped at the time. And it's with the ability to convert it into a box and then eventually convert it all the way up to 418 mythic item level, um, they're still really good trinkets. So there is a way to actually get this system working. But what I wanted to do is just showcase what the system is right now and where the problem lies and how we can go about fixing it. So it boils down to something quite simple. The materials are too expensive. Your Awakened Order, the Awakened Air, the Awakened Frost, Earth and Fire, these five components are the main components that go into making the bundles, the Dark Moon Deck bundles. Every bundle contains two cards. The problem is, is that the Ace is the one that's super duper mega rare. These other ones, the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, don't matter. If you get one of those, forget about it. These are basically vendor trash. And it's all because... The aces are super, super rare. Um, way rarer than any other card. So as time goes on, people open these bundles. They get lots of two through till eight, but they're always chasing the ace. When you end up chasing the ace, you, st you start to realize that actually the entire value of the deck sits on the cost of the ace right because that's really the linchpin for you it's, what, you know, it's the bottleneck between you being able to have most of the deck and actually completing it you take a little look at the auction house and you can see this is represented quite clearly the aces end up being somewhere in the ballpark average price of what the actual trinkets are crafted at there's a couple of outliers at the moment the dance and the watcher one of i think of the just I don't know what's going on with these. They're still really expensive. The reality is, though, is that people are really struggling to sell them at these sorts of prices. Uh, when you take a look at, if you happen to play or you take a look at the NA realms, which are usually a little bit ahead of us because of the way that the launch schedule worked, their prices are a little bit lower and people are starting to buy some of these things. The problem still lies, though, is that the material costs to make these is outrageous. To share some data, then, how can we how can we how can we fix this? What are the numbers? Just what is the drop chance on the ace? On the beta, we tested a whole bunch of Dark Moon cards, right? I put all of the data in my cheat sheet. So if you have access to the cheat sheet, you can have a look at this yourself. But I'll go through it here on, on video anyway. On the beta, we opened or crafted and opened nearly a thousand packs, and we tracked all of the data from all of these to try and give us an indication to what the drop chance was of the different cards. And it turned out that the aces have a 1.5% chance of dropping from the packs, which is super duper mega low. 
This is why people are opening like 50 packs and still not getting a single ace. And if you're spending like a million gold on making those packs because all of the materials are sky high at the moment, this is where the problem is. Um, the data doesn't matter too much. I've done the maths on this. It's a 1.5% drop chance for the ace. If you know that, the people who are good at maths will be able to work out a, calc like a, a crafting cost. What I did is um, I took the auction house prices as they are now to just showcase what is the sort of the average price for an ace at the moment without any inspiration, without any, well, inspiration doesn't count, but without any multi-craft, without any resourcefulness procs, uh, at the moment, you're looking at a little over 500,000 gold EU prices uh, on average to get the ace. You look at the auction house though, and you can very quickly see the aces are selling for all of them, in fact, are selling for less than this. Why, is pe why are they selling for less than what it costs people to make it? Well, truth is, a lot of people have made a mistake. They've realized their mistake, uh, and they're trying to get out really quick. They're like, oh, ah, let's just, yeah, okay, let's push the prices as low as possible. Let me recuperate some of these costs, and let me dip. This was a, it's almost legendaries all over again, to be honest. We saw this at the beginning of Shadowlands were legendaries. People tried to get into the legendary market, didn't quite understand the market before they got in there, spent a whole bunch of gold and then quickly ran out of gold, not realizing how much you actually have to spend to be able to do this. This number as well, for reference, is, is based on an average. Um, it could be more than this, it could be slightly less than this, depending on just you know how lucky you get when opening these packs. If you only open 10 packs, you know, it's it's not enough. You have to be opening 100, 200, 300 packs before you get these average prices. Even if you do get these average prices though, it's, not, it's still not gonna get you anywhere. So how do we fix this? What What's the solution to this? How can we actually make gold with this? The simple answer is you've got to wait. You've got, you got to chill. You've got to slow down. Uh, you've got to wait until some of these materials come down in value. The, the longer these materials stay at the higher high prices, the worse the situation gets. Um, these Awakened are not exclusive to Inscription. This is, the, this is probably the big cause right now. It, the expansion is brand new, the expansion is fresh, everybody's leveling up their professions. The actual demand for these materials is really high. That's probably why in the whole of the EU there is less than 3,000 Awakened Order available. Because they're quite difficult to farm, and lots of people need them for lots of reasons right now. And what's making the problem worse is once an hour somebody's coming along buying 300 of them to make a whole bunch of Dark Moon cards and then just turning them all into vendor trash. So it is a waiting game. We are just gonna have to, you know, just chill, just relax, just wait until the prices come down a little bit on some of these materials, and it'll put it into an area where people might start to be a little bit more willing to pay uh, to have these trinkets. Come the weekend then, it's, what is it, Thursday today. Friday, Saturday, Sunday may and very may may very possibly be one of the first days that people have got actually a good amount of time to play. Believe it or not, people have real lives, people have jobs, people are busy, busy, busy. It's also the festive season, hence the hoodie, by the way. Thumbs up if you like the hoodie. Um, at this time of year, it may not be until the weekend people get a good opportunity to play, which means people will be leveling up, people will be hitting 70. Maybe they'll go and do their first run of Mythic Zeros, and then they'll look at their character and be like, you know what, one of those trinkets looks quite good. There's only a small amount of people though that will be willing to pay these sorts of prices. And we, as we know, these prices are still technically below cost. Um, so these prices are not sustainable with these material prices. Give it a few days, let the market stabilize a bit, don't go too crazy spending all of your gold right now on crafting these. And more importantly, if you do choose to, be aware of what you're getting yourself in for. If you're, if you're paying anything near these prices for your Awakened Order, you've got problems on your hands. Your crafting costs are just going to be too high. It's almost the number one rule of gold making, especially with crafting. Know your crafting costs. Um, at the moment... I can tell you it's about half a million gold to make a single deck. Um, 
it's not a sustainable market right now. But when the prices come down, we should all be good. And the Dark Moon card market might sort of, might you know, might come to life in a few days. So I know it's probably not the most useful information and not the most helpful, but I just wanted to get this information out here just because I see so many people falling into the trap of throwing gold at the Dark Moon card market um, and, and then seriously regretting it. But let me know what your thoughts are on this, boys and girls. Do you think Blizzard needs to do anything about this? Or do you think it will fix itself over time? Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm always, always interested to hear your opinions on these sorts of things. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing if you're new around here. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.